the most massive tsunami, perfect storm is bearing down upon us. But fossil fuels, carbon, coal and gas, are by no means the only thing that is causing uh, climate change. Now, because the fate of water and carbon are tied to soil organic matter, when we damage soils, you give off carbon. Carbon goes back to the atmosphere. Healthy soils absorb water and carbon dioxide. But when we destroy soil, it releases water and carbon dioxide. This dries out the soil and turns it into dust. The process is called desertification. And how we deal with it could determine the fate of more than just our climate. Desertification is a fancy word for land that is turning to desert. And this happens only when we create too much bare ground. Soil and the plant and the climate are connected. If you don't have a living plant, you're going to have more evaporation. What we want is transpiration. When the moisture leaves through the plant, when it does that, it increases humidity. And when it increases the humidity, we have more rain. 60% of our rainfall comes from the ocean. But a lot of people don't realize 40% comes from small water cycles where our rain comes from inland. What's going on is we disrupted the small water cycles. That's when you have too much sensible heat coming off bare soil. You're having these huge vortexes of hot air going out. Instead of attracting the rain, it's pushing the rain clouds away. Take one square meter of soil and make it bare. And I promise you, you will find it much colder at dawn and much hotter at midday than that same piece of ground if it's just covered with plant litter. You have changed the microclimate. Now, by the time you are doing that on more than half the world's land, you are changing macroclimate. Desertification of our soils is a pressing threat to our climate and our species. 